the must, should, could charts. Have you ever heard of that? Cool. I yeah, haven't, so, but I love it. Yeah, like literally, sticky note. Here's the future. Is this a must? If you don't mm. have it, will you lose the business? I should probably have two-factory authentication, but it's not like a must. It's not going to make or break the product, right? And then finally, could. Like this is your wish list. This is all the things that really don't relate to the objective, but it will add an enticing aspect to the product. That's how I always start. Like, what's the objective? Let's come up with a goal. What's this product going to do? And let's stick to that. Yep. And holding that as the guiding light versus yes. when you were saying that, I was realizing that founders are, sometimes it's easy to think about like, oh, it's going to be so cool and it's going to look like this and it's going to, and they're so focused on sometimes how the whole thing is going to work, but then they're missing. Well, why are people using it to begin yes. with? Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, is that if there's no point, people aren't going to use a flashy app. Yeah. If you focus on what the point is, you know, even if it's not the flashiest app in the world, but it helps them do something that they really want to do. And that's a, that's a beauty. Yeah. They'd go too big picture and not enough on the focus focal point, which is what are you doing? Why are you building this business? Because at right. the end of the day, it's an expensive hobby if you don't do the why.